Before we dive into today's episode, Stu and Mark, Steve's best men, are here to remind <laughs> you uh, to join the Patreon, please. From as little as £3 a month, you will get an extra bonus episode once every two weeks, where it's just the three of us shooting the shit. A lot of people enjoy those ones, don't they, Mark? Yes, they do indeed. Uh, you'll also get the five live shows that we've already done in Glasgow, Edinburgh and London, and you'll get first dibs on tickets for future live events. We'll also be putting up the pavilion show there. Yes, coming Duke. very soon, if not out already. And uh, yeah, as I say, uh, first dibs on, on live show tickets. We'll probably have, I uh, assume, a couple of these stand-up shows and stuff over the, the summer in preparation so. for the Fringe. And uh, we've got some plans for some more bonus content and stuff like that. Uh, maybe we um, off-cuts from the public episodes, etc., coming soon as well yeah we're gonna uh, level up aren't we Mark? yes that's that's the idea leveling up uh the the secretary for that is stephen buchanan <laughs> he is the, he is our michael gove and uh <laughs> but no that's that's the idea to keep keep going and keep growing so hopefully see you on the patreon aside of that guys enjoy today's episode enjoy welcome to the some laugh podcast it could be like, oh, that was some laugh, or there was, there was just some was laughs. Some laughs. Well, no promising all laugh. No, <laughs> it's, there's going to be some. It's some laugh. I think this is my fourth time on this book. Welcome back. Ray. Welcome Thank back, you. Ray. I feel like you just need a bigger phone book. <laughs> like, that's what I feel like. <laughs> well, uh, you yeah. know, listen... You asked us to be honest. You asked us, right? Well, <laughs> do, you know what? do you know what's so funny about this, right? I get, uh, I've got a PR team, that's the wanky sentence. It's not even the wanky sentence I'll say today. Uh-huh. Um, and they like, so the same email I got, um, Radio 4 would like to do an in-depth interview and so would the Some Laugh podcast. And I was like, <laughs> what, Jennings and Stevie like? Yeah, yeah. So they came to you and said that? Yeah. Well, that was because... They came to us and because, said that no, you wanted to be... They're playing both sides. Well, they... I, guys, how did just text you? I know that's. <laughs> well, you, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I really want you to go. Listen, that's <laughs> down the road for me in Clyde Bank in a shed. Like, <laughs> I don't need it. We'll be okay. But uh, well, no, no, because I was. <laughs> so thanks so for being here. The, I, I did want to say that to them as well, yeah. but I don't really. I'm not that used to using these people, and I sort of wonder whether do you kind of need to sort of. Let I, them feel like they're doing stuff. Kind of, I, I genuinely burst out laughing when they said they've got me this because I was like, it was the same. It's as a great opportunity. I, I was like, Susie was well, the same. Susie got Richard to get in touch with, us, and then he like, asked for the address. Not that much. Like, She's done it before, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I just didn't see him. But that must have been the same this. thing that they've went to to her and went some laugh on to do. No, he asked us. He Richard got in touch. To be fair, it was because we we. She she'd got his Reginald D Hunter on a Zoom right, call, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he got fucking turned up, and then she's like, "Do you want Rachel Paris and we've got Bradshaw as well?" I was like, "Ah, just doing more." So funny, like when I got that email, I can't remember where I was. I was on tour somewhere, and I just laughed because I was like, "I've hit the big time, man! I'm playing, I'm playing Clyde Bank finally yes. after all these years." But well, yeah. you know, well Farrelly tells us that when he done this, he sold more tickets than live at the Apollo. So is that true? Make of that what you will. That oh. can't be true. Can't was he better on this than he was like? Because he was quite good in line for the ball. He was good in line for the ball. Oh, good. that's that's good for that you. That surprises though, isn't it? me. How does he find that out? I don't know how you would. I don't know. Well, just age. if you look at your look at your sales after the yeah. the poll and then after this, I've noticed like if I do, I can check on my website how many people like go on it in half an hour after I've done something and see if I do talk sports like a massive spike. Is that yeah. right? But there was one. What did I do? Well, I did something. I can't remember. I did an interview. It was for something, and Hawks it was a massive. And Jacobs. Uh, yeah, Hawks I've done that, but it was something else. It was a. Ra- <laughs> it was like a radio four or something like that, and there was a huge spike in Poland. <laughs> and I was like, well, I'm not doing any fucking Warsaw tour date, so that's a waste of time, man. <laughs> so right. I know. I, I I'd probably be big there. Have you ever gigged in like outside of, apart from like Australia and that, but like yeah, yeah non English speaking. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've done Croatia. Uh, I did a mad yoga festival in Croatia me Dan Nightingale and Glenn Will and <laughs> it was great man it was like on an island and it was like a health retreat and then at night everyone just took pills <laughs> and then danced <laughs> in the forest I was saying, particularly yeah, yeah. Nightingale yeah. and Glenn well, Glenn, <laughs> Glenn went missing for like 24 hours like he was on the island <laughs> he just went away and then he came turned up for, me and Dan didn't see him for like a day wow. and then Glenn just turned up a bit muddy did the gig and then went away again <laughs> on this island. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, um, I went to Alps. Did gigs in the Alps. That was all right. 
I think I must have done. But what are the know. gigs? See the gigs themselves. Do you, do you, you're probably alright with that accent because you're quite well spoken. Yeah. So were they was it fine basically? Yeah, they were saying they wish I had an English lit degree from Glasgow Uni like you. But apart from that, I was alright. <laughs> and whatever Stevie's got, I don't know. Marketing, market, uh, cl- classic. <laughs> Ever, everyone I know that didn't know what to do, but had enough grades, just did business or marketing. Yeah, I didn't even really have enough. Grades. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I guess that from the Cali bit. Don't worry, <laughs> I worked that out. Literally, no. This is no. I've never told him this. I don't think, but uh, I failed my English nab and my English by one mark. Nab, and, that's a word I've not heard in <laughs> years, man. And my English teacher just went, "I'll just give you." It. And then, <laughs> and then I passed. I, I scraped the exam, and got a C. Do you give him a shout? So I, sh- I shouldn't have been. It's a she. I tell I you know, what. Apologies. Apologies. <laughs> I've got a similar them. thing though. Seeing my because I was I went to uni right after fifth year, so I needed Did all you? my grades. I you and, absolute uh, VL man. <laughs> well. <laughs> Well, it's just it was actually be kind of because well one I just I kind of knew what I wanted to do and I wanted to go to the exams not just out the way and I was like yeah yeah I just want to get this over way and fucking just start living a stable life turns out I've decided to do something <laughs> but, <laughs> but then so I was needing them and my mate I was in Graph Com we a couple of my mates who were in sixth year and they were only asked they were going to get apprenticeships yeah. or whatever and so in one in my Graph Com exam you were just he was like drawing you had to date and I'd pure fucked one up. And my mate, I'll just, well, I don't know if I should say his name because it might, but he's my mate, my mate Kev just swapped once with me and I got, still got like a C for it, but that C <laughs> How versus good a D. would you be if his was even shitter yeah, than that. yours? <laughs> I mean, but, swap it over. Swap that just was, that bit that says Epstein didn't kill himself. You're like, what's that? How's he know? But that was enough because I needed four Bs was my conditional yeah. and I got two A's, a B and two C's. So it bumped up. So, so I think up. that was the thing did that you, got uh, me in. Genuine question, did you make any pals at uni when you were like 16, 17? <laughs> uh, one. Yeah. Who is now Nick who this <laughs> <laughs> <That's the podcast. laughs> Directs my sister. So it's too very handy. I, 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 no, see, be honest though, him and uh, I had a mate who I worked with in Asda who was in fourth year of uni at that right. time. And uh, I worked with in Asda Clay Bank. And being mates with them, if I hadn't, if they'd went the year after, yeah. I would, if I hadn't met Nick, I mean, I might, I mean, literally, Matt I wouldn't have had all, any of this stuff filmed or anything like that. So yeah, there's yeah, so yeah. much, it was a real sliding doors moment yeah. for me because actually when I got those results, I didn't know if that was enough because yeah. I hadn't actually got four Bs and they checked and they said I was in. Because so my, like, my mate Craig went to uni in fifth year and I remember in our school, I don't know why, we did a yearbook for like the first time ever and we did all the pictures and Craig got like honorary mention and the only thing it says under like most no- known about him it just says, sadly has made no friends at uni. <laughs> like that's all it said. <laughs> and it was true man, he's still right. my pal now. <laughs> well, I, did, I was definitely a fish out of water at the time. Well, what I mean, age were you? Seven, I was just turned 17. Do you have a fake ID? No, but I was old enough, and what I'd done, see when I went to uh, sign up to the union, I just said my birthday was 89, and they just printed it out. <laughs> That's clever. That and is I, clever. Uh, so it was only the union I really needed yeah, it yeah. for. And then, uh, but no, it was weird, because it's Glasgow Union, and it was pure, I, I remember turning up, first time I went to Byers Road, and I thought I'd landed in like a fucking alien planet or something. So why is everyone in Corduroy? Four miles <laughs> when you grew no, up. <laughs> but, it's, but honestly, it was yeah. so diff, it was such a culture shock yeah. at the time. <laughs> It was though. Culture. When you've no left Clyde Bank basically, yeah. and then you go up to fucking Glasgow in the West End, and I was still hanging about with my mates. The weekend's not fucking good. I celebrated my first exams in the December by going out up the, this place called the Complex. Bu- oh, I thought you were going to go to the bully. I bought a wine. No, I wasn't even. Was I was park. drinking in the streets. <laughs> I wasn't even. A, I didn't think I'd been in the bully yet. So, aye. So that was that basically. That's class, man. I didn't realise you were that young. Aye. I just. Is that why you're so mature now? <laughs> is that a joke is it? <laughs> no no it's just, just a lovely man Mark Jennings no I, yeah, uh, you've got good organisational skills I think I know, that That's was it. part of it uh, you're the only person I know that's got a calendar with dates written down on it <laughs> like, <laughs> my wee boy's got that but he's four and it's mainly stuff like pancake day <laughs> I, was like, I saw that I was like ooh impressive but um, I so that, that was me just went straight away but I but thank fuck the, that graph com I think I might have my whole life could have been different no 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 Mine too. I think I would have been a joiner if I never got into uni. Why? Right. Jinx though? Uh, 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 there was... been, imagine how minted you would have been in lockdown. You would have been I the biggest been a, two boy. I would have been a shite joiner. <laughs> I, I would have been an absolute <laughs> fucking shite joiner. Can you like <laughs> hands count? Or... Have you got wee hands, eh? Uh, yeah. Can I hold a hammer with these? <laughs> you were saying that the other week you were working with your, your uncle as a... Uh, he... oh, have you been doing the DIY stuff as well or not? No. Some... No, it's back in the day. It's back uh... in the day. Well, aye, I was still working in the co-op, but... He's a kind of joiner slash 
Guy. 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 He's a guy. Yeah, yeah. Handyman. He's one you text and he goes, aye, I'll come round, but aye. I've never... 60 quid, I'll try it. See <laughs> <laughs> so what happens. So that was his wee apprentice for like <laughs> two shifts or something like that. Uh, and uh, I was just terrible. I would be so bad at stuff. I can't do any DIY at all. No. Like, I can't even... Haley puts up the shelves and stuff and I was like, I can't do anything. <laughs> See, when I, like, have you ever like, put up an Ikea thing and it's like flat pack? I yeah, feel yeah. like an absolute... So masculine after oh, doing one of those, I'm like Alan Keaton, man. <laughs> yeah. like, he's doing that constantly. Just look at this bookshelf that I've built, and I'm like, I'm class. I mean, uh, Haley, my wife's dad, is like so practical with everything, and uh, we're putting off a, she- uh, a shelf in our house when we moved in, and he was like, "You got a spirit level?" And I was like, "No, but I've downloaded an app," <laughs> and he just did the biggest sigh you'll ever. <laughs> and you're like, he's like, "I'll be back in ten. And just be your walk out the door. And I was like, "Hey, good." I mean, John, yeah, I'm bonding. Work, though, it? Yeah, it kind of does, but then. I've got an Android as well, so it kind of floats about like that, so it doesn't really work. So, <laughs> no, no, adult stuff, man. Get yourself an Apple, <laughs> <laughs> not an iPhone. <laughs> Just <laughs> actually, I, I was late today because I was setting up my dad's iPhone. Oh, That's were what you? I was doing this morning, yeah, that was my exciting times. Did, did you, your mum and dad, shape with technology as well? Um, I the die basically. Right, have they got a book of passwords? I have no idea. My mum. But they do do that. That's how my dad opens his phone. With that. They've all got that mad flat. <laughs> what's yeah, what's yeah, this yeah, sort of book case yeah, yeah, thing that all the old people have yeah, yeah. on the phone? And then we clip over uh, that. And yeah, then yeah, they, they don't use their it. thumb. They just do, do, do that. You know that? Yeah, I'm dead like, in the day, man, where I need to take a text up to the light. Like, that's going to happen at some point, like, using that. Oh, when you when, old, when do you, that's an admission of defeat, isn't it? When you start, like, increasing the font size oh, on your phone. My. What oh, What I would say, some tour venues I've done, I'm not saying the audience were old, but, like, it would take them three scrolls to read a text. <laughs> like, it's, <laughs> it's been quite... Hence right. you coming back on the song <laughs> podcast show. Get a bit of the younger mob. Eh? Oh, if I'd have wanted to do a podcast, I would have texted you guys. Like, there's, there's so many others that I would have rather done. But well, Wrestlers the latest, no text back, then. <laughs> Actually, uh, no, not yet. So no. Uh, it's, co- it's coming, I believe. It's coming. I'll do it, mate. It's one of those things. See, I just want to sell tickets so I can take time off. Yeah. Like, because you, usually the opposite. So, we did. Like big shows in Australia. Rest of tickets. As yeah, no. <laughs> Do more. <laughs> well, let's not go into it. But like, because uh, you toured last year, and then you've taken time off to build well, up. I don't know about tour, but I was. You did like five, six days. That's not I did, well, yeah, I, I done. I tour of Glasgow. Yeah. <laughs> Stand in Blackfriars and Van Winkle. No, I did. I did. Day, Just I done, wait well, for the call up, man. Wait for the call up for the glee. One day, man. One day. Fingers crossed. I uh, no, because we I done we've obviously done Perth, and then after yeah. that that month before I done the Kings, I did the done done like we did it's London, Manchester, I think done Aberdeen, Edinburgh, and something else maybe, yeah, and, and, uh, and Newcastle, and uh, it's a tour, so that's, yeah, yeah. I was just bit, I just I called it a mini tour, nice, yeah. but it was just you know whatever, just playing a couple of the clubs and. Uh, just it was all warm up really for the Kings. Mini basically. tours are sometimes better because like yeah. mini chicken Kievs are better than chicken Kievs. <laughs> so like, if you think about that, man, like yeah. mini tours, Good mini points. eggs better than eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Some would argue. Yeah. I guess you could argue that. Imagine that was the slogan. Better than eggs. Better than eggs. Like, yeah. Yeah. You do it. Chicken's ours. <laughs> you do big tours, and you're not doing mini tours. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most slanderous tone. No, you, no, you do no. big tours, eh? I do. Uh, I do two big tours, man. Um, but yeah, I did. So within me finishing a tour and starting a brand new show, it was ten months, like from one tour finishing to the other, which is right. too quick, man. And also, yeah, I don't have a sport act, so right. I do two forty-five minutes. So it's just really what? long. Why? Just because you kind of because I'm them? no worse because I'm doing sign language stuff. Some now this tour, uh, if because last year I was signing it all myself, I would have to get them interpreted, or this tour, mm-hmm. uh, I've got an interpreter in every venue, so I need to pay an interpreter, which is more money than. A so sport act would be. Uh, and sure. presumably, if there was an act who could do sign language, you wouldn't want to book them because they're taking all your work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would issue a fatwa <laughs> <laughs> and go that way. I don't even know where that word came from, but I'm so happy with it, man. It's good. It's it's all that good. Glasgow Uni chat. Yeah, 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 fatwa. Yeah, um, yeah, no, that's my USP. So I still tell everyone I'm the only one in the world that does it. I mm-hmm. think there's a couple that have tried it. But it's really hard like to sign and speak. No, it would so, be. So, um, yeah, it's been it's been cool. But this, this show's like just me being stupid. Uh-huh. Like, so this this shows like you're meeting your dop- <clears throat> doppelgangers, doppel right? gingers, doppel gingers. Yeah. So people... so, do you know? I wrote it down, doppel ginger, and so many people on radio said doppelganger, <laughs> which I never thought of actually, because uh-huh. I'm not. I don't. I I think that's a slur. 
So when you're thinking, it sounds like yeah, a slip. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it really it does. Really slip. Yeah, so I'm going about out and about meeting people that look like me. Bald ginger people. So how did this come about? Because you've done shows like this now. I remember you done the I Dare Ray show yeah, years yeah, ago yeah, where you would yeah. get people to send in dares yeah, for you to so do. Yeah, so I went on a date with Scotland's Old Women and stuff, yeah. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> funnily, about that, the first day of uni, I met this guy and he was said he was going to the stand and he was like, I've seen this guy, Ray, Ray Bradshaw's uh, tour and he was talking about all these dares oh, that nice. he done and all that. Aye. And that was, and you became friends or you hated uh, him? No, we became, became okay. friends. Aye. And is he still a loser? Or, like... <laughs> <laughs> or was, he, was he 60 years old at the yeah. time? <laughs> He's now dead. He's a mature student. <laughs> <laughs> that's my guys I can tour for 12 more years or 8 if there's some bad winters that's all I've got uh, yeah um, yeah I did that and then I kind of wanted to do something that was a bit different but still visual like because I've got a big deaf audience so like I didn't want to just do like an hour and a half of straight stand up so Aye. I thought of doing something different and then I always get told like when we were in Australia people come up and get pictures with me and stuff like that because I look like people they know so I was like right I'll just go and do it and I set up a website, doppelginger.net, um, because dot com was, was, dot com was, com was 620 quid. Oh, they wanted yeah. to buy it. And I was like, fuck off, man. Fuck so, really? yeah. So, dot, dot net was six quid. And then I bought <laughs> the alternative spelling in case anyone spells it wrong. Oh. Like, uh, and then set up a website and people submit. So, we had like we had hundreds and hundreds of pictures. So, you just want people that look like you, basically? Well, so, yeah. But then when I've been on radio, I've just said like bald ginger people and stuff like that. And some of the people that think they look like me are insulting. <laughs> like, genuinely. There was an old guy. It was like 66. He was like, I think we look similar. And I was like, yeah, if you zoom in on my balls, mate, like, not anything else, man. It was such a bad one. Uh, so yeah, it's just been going out and doing just actual nonsense. Have you had ones that look like really similar? There's a couple of really good ones. Like there was, a, I did a tour show in Maidstone and I walked out and uh, do you know what I've been doing? And I, I got told not to do it. So I've got, because I'm using like a, a, a side show with pictures of everyone that I've met, I've got like a clicker and a, a laser pointer and I was in Bristol and when it was dark, I was like shining the light on bald people's heads to <laughs> see like where they were. And then someone in the front row was like, I think that's illegal. <laughs> like, I don't think you can do that. I was like, okay, let's not do that, man. <laughs> so now I just get the house lights put up at the start of the show. And I walked out and I was like, any bald ginger? I couldn't see it. And I looked in the front row and there was a guy that looked really like me. I'll show you the photo. And um, it turns out he didn't know what he was coming to. Right. And like 20 minutes before, um, he was at his in-law's house and they were like, oh, just come, we're going to a stand-up show. And he was like, okay. And then as he walked in, he saw my post, he was like, no. <laughs> so like getting duped in. Uh, so is that, so are people, bald gingers being sort of dry, no dry down, but they've, they've been sort of, wow. So like, which camera will do this one? I'd say, I'd send, send I'd us a pic say and we'll you're, uh, send us a pic and we'll get in. Nah, we'll just keep doing this forever. <laughs> I need to charge my phone. Uh, just so that, <laughs> the camera. I mean, um, so still in full. All right, sorry, I break your camera. <laughs> you I'll send you a picture. Right. Um, you were going to say I. You think I look better or worse than him? Let's just leave it there. <laughs> Do you know, he was wearing <laughs> a, a good looking. Guy. He was wearing a shirt, and uh, I have the shirt. And I was like, I wish we'd wore that together. Oh, that would have been, been cute. We could have been cool guys together. That would have been good. Because you get Martin Boyle a lot. Who's the? Is that right? Hey, Liam Boyce. Liam Boyce. Liam sorry, Boyce. The, yeah, yeah. Uh, heart striker. Heart striker. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Good Scottish football knowledge again. I know that's that. Uh, <laughs> you get that guy that plays <laughs> for <laughs> Spartans. He plays for Edinburgh. It's only on Edinburgh. Uh, I get Hearts and a lot. I don't think. Hearts. I don't think I look like Hearts. Do it though. The joke you used to do, I think, in that story about the dares, is when you were talking about going for the Bollywood audition. Oh, yeah, John Hart's in the musical. <laughs> like, <laughs> that would be, that's what it would be. I, like, I think about that a lot. Do you know what? That's one. Of the, you must get this as well. That's a joke I completely forgot about until you told me one night when we were pissed in Perth. Aye. Um, also, when we go back, just to go back to the DIY chat at the start, you would be terrible at DIY, I think, because do you remember in <laughs> when we lived together in Perth, it was me, you and Roscoe. Is this Roscoe. about the bees? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's always a bit of Sorry, uh, who do you call it for that? Like, there's no, I don't think there's any DIY to get rid of a bee's uh, you know nest. There's a bee guy that you can yeah. get. Yeah, he's in the it's, side of oh, every sorry, road, man. <laughs> What's destroyed? I forgot it's every fucking set of traffic lights. <laughs> we didn't, the problem was we didn't have a car in Perth, otherwise we wouldn't have seen it. I did, actually. At the end, I went left, yeah, yeah. Thank you, show yeah. Madman Motors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the weird thing was you parked it in my bedroom. Like, that's why... I, but um, do you know the bee story? No. So Jennings, it was funny living with... Mark and Roscoe McClelland, mm -hmm. you'll never get two more polar approaches to work. <laughs> Very diligent, writes every day. Roscoe was like, I might try and make hamburgers today. <laughs> yeah. this thing. He was watching a lot of SpongeBob SquarePants, I recall. Fair play. It's a great program. <laughs> what was the, I don't think we talked about it when we did the um, ones out there. What was the character that he woke you up with? 
Because your bedroom was directly below him. It was just his character. It was just him. No, but he was doing stomping about. He, he was doing like star jumps, and you had to subscribe. Yeah. To no, his I just Twitch. I just went on his Twitch because I just because he was directly above me, and all I could hear it was honestly like he had a rat infestation or something. It was like honestly somebody it sounded like somebody in the loft, and then. It was just like banging constantly, and I just like I was like, "What the fuck is he doing?" Because like I knew he was seven doing, or eight in the morning doing Twitch. Oh, yeah. I could hear his yeah. voice, but then he was like jumping up, and I just looked, and he's like, he was dancing about on his Twitch. <laughs> was it not? Was it not a character called Lionel Itchy or something like that? And he was just <laughs> <laughs> it, no, like, it had something, was it another day. I can't remember. Uh, it had so, it was something called. Uh, Oh, I can't remember. Some daft pun. Samantha Mumbler? Yes, Samantha Mumbler. Samantha Mumbler. That was Mumbler it. Was Mumbler. <laughs> that was it. That's so really Ross gonna be up there, and then. Mark would go out and we had this week kind of, I, I was going to say courtyard there, but essentially prison. Like, uh, you know it was just bit. like a wee, was uh, a wee outside sort of. But high thing. walls. Like, and a wee table yeah, there. No roof, like someone from cell block H. And like, <laughs> um, you would go out and write every day. And then one of the days you put your washing out and then you came in and we could we could go see him like that. And we're like, what is it? He was like, there's lots of wasps. There's lots of wasps. <laughs> so there's you're too, so many, but wasn't <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah, but you're too scared to get your washing. So me and Roscoe had to go out and get your washing for you. For fuck's sake. I don't remember Roscoe then. <laughs> Oh, dude, was it just me? Was it? <laughs> Big just Ray, Ray Dadshaw once again. <laughs> what was it? Yeah, I called my show the Ray Bradshaw one year when I was doing a work in progress, and Roscoe was like, "Why do you not call it the Ray Dadshaw?" And I was like, "That's such a better name, man." Yeah, that's good. That's I hate good. coming up with show names. Like, I yeah, think that's too. so hard. I nearly actually called mine Jenko and Chain the other day. Did you? What's the poster? <laughs> <laughs> this is me photoshopped on Jamie Fox. Yeah. <laughs> I just like see. Why is all my audience white and bald? Like, what's happening? Part of me thinks like it's funny. It's yeah. see if there wasn't the connotations with what that film's actually about. Yeah, yeah it what, would be a good sort of daft. Yeah, well, basically, I, but yeah. it, it's a daft yeah. name, and I want a daft name this year. Was um, it not Jenko? Was it not a Jenko in Twenty One Jump Street? Yeah. I think could, so. I think that was. Was it Channing Tatum or was it the other one? The other get John. Was it Jonah Hill? I can't remember. Said, yeah, Jonah Hill it was. Yeah. yeah. Right, so I not think I one of them. No, no. No, you won't do that. No, I can't just call my right, show Twenty One Jump Street. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty One Pump Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm into that. I'm at Twenty One Pump Street. You We've mean? always been trying to get Steve to call his show uh, Buchanan Poo Station. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's the station with the puss goes. <laughs> it's, it's good. That is genuinely horrific. That is so that is good. actually a CM, CMB, CMB, CMB joint. Up, like, that is that. so good. So, so good. Like, you'll have to do it, but only do it in bus stations. <laughs> like, that'd be the irony. Just go up to people. Nah, I don't know. I don't want the wrong audience. What the shaggers? Yeah, yeah. Stay that for Twenty One Pump Street. Yeah, exactly. They can <laughs> go. Yeah, there's that. no, there's no shaggers coming to raid Dad Show. Well, there has been top shaggers, right? Yeah, People yeah, have done not, it successfully. Retired yeah, shaggers. Retired. Yeah. <laughs> all, all, everyone's just wearing Carhartt and those wee things you carry your kids in. <laughs> just walking about. <laughs> so how? Um, so see with this thing then. So you're getting all these doppel gingers in. Yeah, right? yeah. How is this going to actually? Like, how are you going to talk about it in the show exactly? So I'm already in the tour, so I'm already doing it. So I go out, meet them, and I tell the stories about when I met them, uh, stuff that I did. I went and met a doppel ginger in India. That was a good laugh. In uh, India? Yeah, really? yeah, out, yeah. Um, and this is the thing, I suppose, well, by nature about the gingers, it's it's not going to be a very racially diverse show. You can see right? it. Uh, it's not going to be Jenko and Chain. <laughs> 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 or Buchanan and Puss Station because <laughs> he's a considerate lover of all yeah. this a Puss Station yeah. does Puss is better that Puss is better Puss yeah, is that's... more aggressive yeah, yeah. I think that would be like kind of yeah. just spotty people you've got, yeah you've got more <laughs> I would say you've got more seeping energy than shagging energy so Puss Station suits Puss Station what? <laughs> I've you... got more what energy? like am I seeping? seeping seeping yeah like like a puss like the what the, out. what the fuck? Is it... <laughs> <laughs> That's just the angriest I've ever seen you. That is a horrible thing to say. Isn't Would it? you say he's more likely to be Ella or a Shagger? Ill or a shagger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know if he would necessarily be oozing pus. <laughs> that look horrible yeah. to you. I can't wait until the people that ask me to get on here, here's this bit back. <laughs> I'm like, this is an in-depth interview. <laughs> Money well spent yeah. by the PR. Why, why do they spend 25 minutes talking about bandages? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Gauze? Do I look ill? 
No, I wouldn't. No. <laughs> I mean, you sound it today, but I, that's feel yeah, yeah, I do yeah. feel it. Um, you, but you, you'd been out the weekend, didn't you? Stag do. Yeah. How how are your stag days like? Because what age are you? Thirty two. Yeah, so you're in the cost, man. Once you're at thirty, I've got a bit about this now. Once you're at 34, 35, that's your life's fun. over, man. It's a funny bit. I like that, and I was thinking that, but I'm still. I was like with a group of guys who who have not hit. That. Well, they have hit that age, but they've not mentally hit that yeah, age. Yeah, yeah. So they're still going for it, and I, and I was too tired. Were you in clubs and stuff? Yeah. Because here's the thing I always think now, like, because even you, you're, and it's people still going for it like that, but you're like, do you not realise how you're going to feel the next day now? Be you that old? And they they no. do still do that, but then, yeah, but but so you can just yeah. see it coming a mile away, and I'm like, that's why I'm not doing it. You still then, do it though. You still oh, get you you get you get peer but, but, pressure's class, man. Like I'm <laughs> doing it all the time. It's like to be fair though, the last night the stag didn't even make it out, and about four other guys didn't even make it out because the night before was how many he's went. It's, 14, yeah, 16 it's slightly too many in it. Yeah. Like my brother's was 23. That was way too many, man. That's a lot. We man. played a fives tournament. <laughs> <laughs> my brother was sick about eight times in the fives tournament on the Saturday. It was somebody uh, the referee as well. Uh, no, it was just, it was, I organised it, so it was uh, like, I, I just made up the rules. My team win. Fair enough. All that stuff. <laughs> I went, um, yeah, stag do's like, I think I told you, like, I went to a stag do last year and my mate brought his own pillow. Like, not his neck That's pillow, amazing. like a pillow from his bed and I was like, that's, that's class, that's man. Like, idea. that is the future. Because... My pillow was horrible on that. I like I fucked my neck from it. I were you in brought... were you in a hotel or a yeah. apartment or what? A hotel, but it was like right on the strip, so the music's blaring till <laughs> six in the morning. Just constant pitbull. Yeah, constant pitbull. Just... <laughs> <man. laughs> the whole time. You were saying if you were eighteen or whatever and going on holiday and somebody brought their own pillow. Yeah, yeah, you'd, you'd bully the fuck out of them. Man. Uh-huh. Yeah, wanting to think they're gonna shag it. <laughs> That's the two ways it goes, isn't it? Why is he brought his pillow? Why is yeah. he, why is he seeping? I think it doesn't make sense. <laughs> I've got quite a lot of pus coming out. <laughs> it's so horrible, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, because I mispronounced it. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I love good, Like, me and my mates went away last year. I went to Bruges and just drank really powerful beers and went to the football and stuff. It was I'd just like so much to, better. I'd like to so go much to better. I've seen it ever since I've seen the film. And yeah. I well, I saw the film after, which was oh, a very stupid you? way of doing it. Yeah. I Because I, I went to Australia about a week later and I watched it on the way out. Oh. I was like, oh, I get all the references everyone was making all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah wondered, it's a nice building. Did someone die jump- there? That's a shame. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> wonder why they want to jump at that watchtower. <laughs> I keep wanting to meet covert meetings on a bridge. I was like, why? Why are you doing this, lads? Why are you all speaking Irish? I don't yeah. understand it. Man. Basically, in Bruges, is just like the perfect city break. That is yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pure laugh with your mate. <laughs> you know, a yeah. wee bit of action, whatever. Yeah. A wee good. bit of death. It's always what you want. Good laugh. What, what are you like in a stag, dude? You go big. I think I'm. Uh, I, I think I, I bring a sensible anchoredness because I'm. I still have a good <laughs> laugh. I've seen you be very giddy after about four or five pints, and I love it. No, I, I, I do. I like a drink on that. But, but uh, then what? Like, what's the tipping point when you get? I think I do know my limits to an extent. Which, which, I mean, that was one. There's one day we went on that boat trip, but I was. I was going to say that. What? But that was about you know. I was steaming as well, man. Mad. Do you remember we got a noise complaint? Because when, when we're in the boat on the way back in, I put um, Celine Dion. my heart will go on Celine Dion as loud as we could, <laughs> uh, going back in and just 12 absolute steaming people. I've got a video of that, it was mental. Have you got the video I was looking for the other day? I, I was going to say got it, I'll send you. That was, uh, that was a good day. Amazing. I was I was so good. I was in that boat getting steaming. And com- I was just, I. What? Did you get stuck in a riot? Did you get stuck in a riot as well? I you... know we hope we yeah, were walking yeah. home and there was a there was a riot because it was Australia Day and a lot of people protest at yeah. Cotton Invasion Day in Australia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we walked through a riot, quite good. And then one of our mates said, eh, "No, the riot police told us to fuck off quite yeah. quickly." <laughs> we tried to, we to go to McDonald's. Yeah, we, that's what we said. We just want to go to McDonald's, and they were like, "Fuck off." <laughs> <laughs> like, and we're like, "Oh, okay." We're so pissed we didn't even realise, man. Yeah. So this was the day after the boat thing. This yeah. is the day of the boat thing. Yeah. Same, like so that night. Because I don't think I've ever seen you. Completely steaming. Oh, really? I don't think so. It's quite enjoyable. Aye. Quite loud. What are you like? Do you I'm just about well, the place well with that? Neil tells me because he's sober, so he yeah. is a good judge of what people like and he says, You're just the same, just a bit more loud and you get a bit too close sometimes. But <laughs> I would say in my defence, yeah. when he's seen me steaming, it's probably been at comedy clubs. Yeah. So I'm like trying to whisper in his yeah, ear yeah, and yeah. that's okay, yeah. fair enough. You lose a wee bit you of more stories awareness. like that in twenty one pump street. <laughs> <laughs> Where you go along. No, I but, think uh, I just think you, your voice gets louder and your hair gets flatter. Like I think that's all that happens. Yeah, it's probably the humidity. And then there's, Aye, that's not probably, that common. I probably something good. I'll never have an issue with. So. <laughs> <laughs> My wee boy is obsessed with uh, me being bald. Really? Like, I came up 
what was it? What was it? Two slaggings I got yesterday. So I hadn't seen him like 16 days because I've been on tour and I came back. Just came back for Mother's Day and then went out. And then the next day, two things he told me. One, he was like, Daddy, come up here so I can brush your hair. And he was just giggling <laughs> the whole time. What and age then, is it? Do you think four. he got that from your missus? That's no, no, I think he's quite a good it. bully. Nah, he's pretty good for that. Mm-hmm. And then in the car. I was listening to Radio 1 He went Daddy you're too old for Radio 1 You need to listen to Radio 35 Which is my age And I was like yeah, That's another good slagging man That's good yeah. He's he, quick Yeah he is pretty good at slagging it's like Do you think he'll do stand up? Do you know, I took him down to the stand I was doing a Jags for Good charity gig So I'd hired it So I got the venue So I, I was like Come in and see what it's like and I took him on stage And he picked He took the mic out Like better than Half the open spots I've ever seen <laughs> And he started speaking into the mic And then when he finished The staff clapped like who were in the bar and stuff like that. I want to know that it was really nice, but I could see his eyes light up, and I was like, "Oh fuck, I'm oh, raising a clown, the man!" He's this is the bug. him, man. Yeah. Do you know? I did a interview. I'm going to steal an interview question. I'm going to ask you this because I got asked this yesterday. I've never thought of this, right? Uh-huh. Do you after a gig? Is there certain foods you eat only if you've had a good gig, and certain foods you only if you've had a bad gig? <laughs> Someone asked me this yesterday. I don't. But she was like, yeah, if I've got a bad gig, I only have a ham sandwich. <laughs> like, I'm punishing myself. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. If I had a bad gig, I'd, I'd tend to... Gorge! Yeah, yeah, treat myself, go for a McDonald's, eat yeah. brownies and all that. Well, the impulse is there, but it's sort of similar to the way that you kind of drink, right? Because it's like, you either drown your sorrows or you're celebrating. Yeah. And it's kind of the same impulse with stand-up. If you have a good gig or a bad gig... You've got that same thing. Oh well, I went fucking brilliantly. Aye, right, let's have a pizza. Or oh, I feel like shit. Let's I have a have pizza. A pizza. Yeah, pizza's exactly. a lot. No pizza, but so whatever. <laughs> right. Right. Let's, get, let's get a meal for two from Baba Jones. <laughs> well, wait forty five minutes. That, that time of night, it's pizzas places are closed generally anyway. But I, I just it depends. I'm very all or nothing with food. So if I'm eating healthfully, I will yeah. stick on it. Mm. And if oh, I'm I forgot no, about that, yeah, yeah, no, you went through that. A lot, I've had a lot of bad gigs, and then I've just uh, this the. The chicken and bacon sandwich and some uh, and yeah. some wee Big M&S chocolate Big for the, yeah, for the yeah, well-being yeah. cafe yeah, yeah, yeah. home and all that. Aye. <laughs> Is there a lot of those? You know? so, <laughs> Stopping at Heart Hill. I met Heart Hill. The amount of times I've stopped there, I just like, what the fuck am I doing in my life, man? I met Pat Nevin in there once. Did you? Yeah, and then two weeks later he was on telly think, saying he thought Thistle might win the league and I was like, I think I told you that, Pat. But anyway, that's interesting. Uh, I think he's the only celebrity I've ever met in Heart Hill Station, service station. I mean, why would you meet others? Well, it's a it's a focal point for <laughs> the celeb community. The Glasgow the yeah. people commuting for Glasgow and Edinburgh. Ah, it's where the Illuminati mm. meet in Glasgow. <laughs> and they got that wee bus station at the back. <laughs> the bus station. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even mean that one. It is, lads. A few people have been pumped there for sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say it like you'd done it? <laughs> you had a wee twinkle in your yeah, eye. Yeah, yeah. People have been pumped, and it was me. Uh, definitely was me. What? Uh, six, it's not just a meal deal. <laughs> I'm eating anyway, right. Both of them were very good. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. you spoke over each other, but both were good. I didn't hear so. yours. What was yours? <laughs> it's not just a meal deal I'm eating. But... <laughs> Like, pump number six, six was pump two. Yeah, yeah. Better, like that old nah, uh, pump number six. He's Frank a shit. The Frank McAvenny joke. Anyway, <laughs> what do you eat after gig three? <laughs> th- <laughs> <laughs> Serious <Segway>. question. <laughs> yeah, it's the stance as well that makes. Sorry, that's an in-depth interview. Yeah. Don't yeah, try yeah. and wriggle out or yeah. Paxman in you. I don't. I don't really. I'm trying to eat a bit healthier just now, so not really. Do you know what I found um, on tour? I went to. Uh, pub the other day so sometimes I'm driving from like it's like two hours from one bit to the other I'll just type in like because it's like 12 o'clock 1 o'clock usually I'm driving in the daytime so I'll put in like pub food and find like good pub food and the other day I went where was that Royal Wooten Bassett oh, aye, aye. Uh, between Swindon and uh, somewhere I was going Newport maybe and I went to this place and it looked lovely but it was a carvery and I was like I can't get a carvery by myself, man. That would be one of the saddest things. <laughs> Imagine spilling gravy on yourself and you've still got to sit there by yourself. Do you know, like, I can't do you it. Don't trust yourself enough to get no. it there. No, <laughs> mate, I'm a gravy monster. <laughs> like, it's not happening. I'm not a big fan of a carvery, I must say. I'm no. not a big Sunday roast guy, but I once, the only time I've ever been in a Toby carvery was to do a gig in Shrewsbury. Oh my God. That is That's the bleakest sense <laughs> ever, man. It was so weird because we were waiting for the gig to start and you're watching was people. Was it a line-up show and then they were eating the carvery when you were on? So the gig was in a back room, where it, which was effectively just like any sort of normal kind of circuity gig you would get in some 
some kind of place. It was the room was fine, yeah. but it was at the back of a Toby Carvery. You just smell like Brussels. But you know, <laughs> imagine how demoralising that'd be when you're on stage and you know you're dying. You just see someone go get more mashed potatoes. <laughs> 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 it's, it's for that, eating it, watching you. That may have happened. That's that awesome. such a bad place to put a gig yeah. on. That's and horrible. Gary Delaney was on it as well. Was he? Yeah, he was headliner. Smash it. Did I or did he? Yeah. I, I don't know right actually I think it was fine I but love that it's the only time you've been in a Toby car I, is, I didn't even know what it, I was like got the guy I'm not a thing here I don't even yeah. know well there is ones about but it's, I don't think it's that yeah. popular and uh, I didn't know what it was and I'm like alright it's basically like, like a fucking like a little chef or a harvester or whatever oh, yeah. the food? I, thought, I must have done I can't really do know, remember do you know what I saw in oh, where was I somewhere in England Aylesbury a wimpy uh, you used to be a wimpy in Clyde Bank didn't yeah, you in the mega bowl yeah, in the mega bowl right eh? I loved Wimpy, man. Mate, it was great, man. Great. And it's I, still going down there, right? Yeah, but I, did you ever do any of the parties at Wimpy? I used to hate when Mr. Wimpy came out. Like, Mr. Dressed, Wimpy? Dressed as Mr. Wimpy, do you know what I mean? He, was like, he looked oh. a bit Tudor, I think it was. Like, oh, yeah. red thing. And oh. he, he would come out, and then you'd be fucking raging, because you'd be like, that's the guy that cooks the food as well. So <laughs> There's only <laughs> we one guy. Another, ah, we're going to have to wait another 15 minutes <laughs> on our food for a bendy burger, or whatever it was mm. called, man. <laughs> the problem is everywhere's like a wimpy now in that sense because it's just mm. as you go, so many places you go in, there's only one member of staff there. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas back in the day, that was, it was only the wimpy that was like that. At least nowadays you get well, living in one iPads pa- that you can order yeah. from back then. You didn't have yeah. that. Well, living in a wimpy Imagine world. Wimpy had an iPad in like 1992. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> the only place. <laughs> like Mr. Wimpy was like some tech genius, man. And that's why it all shut down because it turns out he was Steve Jobs. <laughs> like we didn't know that. See around for Glasgow Central. Um, I remember a few years ago seeing it and it was like whatever the shop was there. Taking the sign off. It, taking it off. Oh. And underneath was like embedded into the wall like Wimpy. It was as if it's like been carved into or something. So I've got a picture of something, but it's like seen it's like a, a wimpy mention. It's like a skeleton. <laughs> it's, it's like a skeleton of a Class. of a shop, and it's like I had get went, that out, man. That's, get that in print. It's crazy. Yeah. You you could be the new Jack. It's probably on. I, <laughs> like, I must have put it mid. online at some point, but I it's there and uh, there used to be a Dunkin' Donuts down there as well. I was a big fan of. Right. Oh, yeah. that's huge in Australia and stuff like that. Dunkin is that Donuts. not still yeah, a thing? Is it America? No, not here. Not though. really. I don't think here. Maybe no occasionally. Problem. And Baskin Robbins, they'd be half and half. Mm. Like that's the that. Millies. They've moved to Millies. Have they? Baskin and Robbins. Eh? There was one of the. What was that thing that was over at Brayhead and it shut now? But it's like a big. It's like a Denny's or something. Was it Brayhead and it oh, shut? Yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that was. Yeah. It lasted about two months. Yeah. Ringing it's always food. people just like Popeyes and all that. It pops up and people just go there for like queue for two hours for something you could get anywhere else right? yeah do you, do you have never had a taco bell that's what i was that? gonna say uh, the taco bell that's kind of managed to limp through it until I it's went, still there <coughs> when a I was good in, position it's on sucky old street yeah yeah mm-hmm. when i was in guilford uh, sorry for dropping all these exotic locations lads <laughs> uh i went to so taco you're bell. getting your two days in but after they've happened <laughs> yeah, yeah no this is this is like a couple of years ago when I was, and i'll be back in guilford yeah, <laughs> in 2028 um, <laughs> Uh, and I went and got a quesadilla and they forgot to put the chicken in. So I didn't notice till I got back to the theatre and all it was was cheese and jalapenos. <laughs> That's all it was. I was like, I paid six quid for this. That was you know, such, six. such a spicy cheese sandwich, man. There is nothing worse than when you order something like that to take away and then you get back and realise that they've not gave you the oh, right food. I think, I think yeah. like genocide's worse. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say, Mark? <laughs> well, you know. Israel or Palestine. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> <laughs> No, of course. Yes, we, we, you know, we don't. But it is pretty bad. It's bad. I'm just saying. <laughs> he was just about to say we don't condone genocide. He was about to say the line. No, free Palestine. That's, that's right. your new friend show. Yeah. Sorry. I don't condone genocide. <laughs> Immediate ceasefire. <laughs> right. Genocide. <laughs> That would be quite good, actually. <laughs> Fuck, man. Sorry. Anyway, you should. Mate. Mate, it'd be great. Just you in different war zones just standing there like I'm that. trying to relate to your fucking story. Anyway. <laughs> this is the thing about Ray, right? You are a nice guy. Maybe one of the... Maybe one of the nice... I've never seen anyone be able to get on so much with people, but you're also by a dick. <laughs> I think people don't say enough about you, right? you know what, what I like is I've done this before with other people if you get other nice people to break it's so good man. I remember he's uh, like aye aye he's a nice guy but apart from the things he said to me uh, <laughs> said I looked ill <laughs> I forgot um, about that I was oh, thinking of necessary criticism of things but <laughs> I was just saying it I brings up gen- that bee hang every fucking time I see it <laughs> I, do, actually, I, do, I really do because it is funny um, but I don't I don't know why me saying genocide 
as bad as a bad thing because you you seem to be angry at that mark. <laughs> <laughs> just try to relate to you thing. It's a figure it when you say there's nothing worse. It's a figure of speech. Of course, this thing's worse. It's your fucking tour show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, oh, I, I miss McPherson. Ah. <laughs> Probably no point in going back to this bit. Like, <laughs> I went to McDonald's and I asked for no tomato sauce. I, I hate tomato sauce. On what? Sauce on a, like, Do you know what's uh, so funny? Because yeah. you said this about, you told about when you went to Meat Stack in Newcastle. Yeah. And you said that you asked for no tomato oh, be, sauce. I think every you, comic has been there because yeah. it's down the road. And so they yeah. gave you extra tomato sauce. Okay. <laughs> I was in the other day and I said, I, I was asking about the mustard. Because I'm like, oh, does, do they all come with the mustard? Because I wanted the mustard. And he went, oh, do you, do you not want the mustard? And I thought, that's because of you, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, she was so confused. This just thir- further proves my theory that you used to do everything together. Like, the fact no, that this is separate occasions. I know, but even though even the people at Meat Stack know you come as a pair. Like, <laughs> that's what's all I'm saying. I'm like, oh, that's the other one. The I remember so you confused. saying to me, I remember you saying to me once, he goes like, oh, do you think, like, uh, you'll ever, like, you and Steve will ever, like, no be, like, associated? Like, do you think, yeah, like, yeah. your career will ever just be you and no, everybody just think Yeah, because I always used to think, like, it was your house and he lived in the loft. <laughs> like that's you yeah. just came as it's like you know when you think about other comics, like you can't imagine having families, you think every other comic's an orphan. Because you never meet their families, you never yeah. see them. Mm. But at the start, you two were always together. And C and B and Roscoe were always together. Um, so they were a pair, they use a pair. Now you've all become successful in your own house. Now you've got a thruple. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So in a way you were right, actually. No, no one will ever know <laughs> so say it's each other. <laughs> but no, I was just thought used to just you know like one of those two up two down houses like you had one bit you had the front door you had the side door that's a good the sitcom idea yeah right. that's just basically still grand. game yeah. Yeah. the odd yeah, couple but, but no because there's stairs in this one <laughs> like they're flats totally <laughs> that's different that's true completely, totally different, different. Yeah. Uh, aye so I ju- she was just so confused when I said I don't want sauce and she was like what do you mean? I was like, I don't want tomato sauce, and she's she couldn't get her head around. It. What do you mean? It's such a funny comeback. <laughs> what? what do you mean? And then she was like, and it, she was like, why? And I was like, I don't fuck with tomato sauce. <laughs> Is that what you said? I'd literally, I, and she said, you've said that before. I, you always say that. Not to her. That's who it was. That was that's an insecurity because you don't like to say that you don't like it. So you say, I don't fuck <laughs> with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. fuck with it. <laughs> That's so good. And then, uh, and so, but the other time at McDonald's, they gave me extra, and I was already driving away. Me and Stu were going to a gig, and I just had to give him a burger. And he gave me one nugget in return. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he didn't That's even give me all six. Stingy, man. Yeah. Mm. yeah. One nugget. Now that he's not here, I can speak my truth. Yeah. <laughs> Call him out. <laughs> Fuck him. And it's weird I look over. Like, <laughs> so he's going to be there. there. Yeah. yeah. The, I used to, I think I might have even told you this before, Ray, but my army actually. Uh, uh, when we were in school uh, we'd go to McDonald's every Friday or something and he was quite a fellow fuss, fish f- no a fuss eater oh, he fuss. would ask for toasted buns no burger just the buns cheese just just listen I'm telling you everything they ordered <laughs> toasted what buns did, what did he not fuck with beef <laughs> <laughs> what was the deal did he fuck with food <laughs> Uh, but they got to the point I where mean, like that, that I would understand if she was like what do you mean <laughs> <laughs> but with sauce yeah, yeah, yeah. You know well I, I think mean? they must like it must have been the staff that coined the phrase of what he was toasted buns because like <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. obviously he's last, not gonna so yeah. I guess what we must have had is he can I have this but none of this stuff yeah. and he went so you just want toasted buns and so <laughs> as we used to always like joke about that and then I, but I it got to the what, point where what else would he eat like the rest of the time he was quite, he just be, would be really, really just fussy. Just really have the yeah. chips? No. Was your, was your mate a duck? <laughs> 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 but he, but to, got to the point where, like, this, we'd gone every Friday, you could see the staff kind of nudging. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. 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 absolutely buzzing to serve him, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel what, like that sometimes, even if you ever want a, a thing in order. I think, like, it, I don't know how much it's in your head because see when you do ask oh can I get any of this yeah, and yeah, that yeah. you wonder are they going oh what a fucking weirdo or is it just like probably I think there was a rumour before McDonald's Club Bank the only way you could get an extra star if, was if you served the toasted buns guy like that was the only <laughs> way <laughs> like, you'd be stuck in one for ages because you didn't work Fridays you'd be livid no, I think I think yeah sometimes I think they will but also some of the times it must just be like because I've never worked in a kitchen I've worked in bars and stuff yeah. like that I mean people are awkward just like why are you doing this to me yeah, like, no, let's like just get in and out of here. Because I like it when it's something that, like, it That's could potentially be an allergy. Aye. Although sometimes they, because sometimes I go in and I get the, I get the opposite of toasted buns, and Five Guys get nay bun as well, a burger. I was going to say Ali Houston does done that. What you get? You getting 
Oh, I just got just a lettuce bun to, if I'm trying to stir for carbs. Yeah. And then they is always that ask, an is it an, an allergy or a preference? Aye, it's on the thing. And and, uh, and I sometimes just say it's an allergy. Do you? Yeah, <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I actually say it's a preference, but like, it's good to have that sort of plausible deniability. It could be an allergy. I'm not just being weird with my food here. Mm. Yeah, but you were. But um, yeah, yeah, because yeah. grilled was that place in Australia you went to fourteen times a week. I would just go basically every day. <laughs> I, mean, I do. I so wish there was one in the UK. Well, oh, was it just like a five guys? It's place? just a no. burgers place, but they done a flatbread uh, bun and yeah. it was great. And it's a brilliant, but it is a good burger. I went all right, once. It was alright. It was like <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> I did hungry jacks. Yeah, <laughs> meal for two. At the end of the night, I've done that a couple of times. Yeah. Absolutely, Stephen. Um, my mate, my flatmate, when I was at uni, to see we talk about for staff and all that, mm. he did a thing that. He used to go into um, All Saints or like really fancy, he's a really good looking guy. <clears throat> and he would chat to the girl and he would chat her up and all that kind of stuff. And he would ask her out and she would say, more times than, yeah, uh, than often, she would say, yeah. And he would go buy like an 800 pound jacket or like a, I think one time it was like a 180 quid scarf. He would go on a date with a girl, right. chat, find out when she was working. And a day she wasn't working, go back and return it. Oh, fuck. And so it looked like a big dog. And he would do that all the time. And I thought that's what you would do with Grilled. Just go in every day and just chat up all the staff and <laughs> and invite Get them to 21 Pump Street. <laughs> and see if they got to. Yeah, hey, you're returning the burger that I've just eaten. <laughs> just like spewing in a bin <laughs> and back in. You'd think that the other staff would tailor. That's what I thought. But uh, he did it like three different... It was always when we got our sass in, our shint loan. Not uh, like sass. That, <laughs> no, 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 no. That's quite sassy. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. That's, okay. That is good, a good idea, actually. Yeah, it was actually quite clever. It's yeah. also... It's, um, I, I, I've never talked about this, so I'm sorry, Brett, if you are watching this. Um, uh, before he moved in, his we got a letter, and his name was Brett, J, uh, Brett James Cummings. So we got a letter saying to Mr. BJ Cummings, <laughs> and I was 18. That that's is the best good. thing in the world, man. That, that is, is the best thing ever. That's an unfortunate name. You wouldn't yeah. live that down no. at 18. No, he, he was like a ladies' man. And He's lucky that he was good looking. Yeah, I know. Yeah, if you're pussy. You're not pussy. You're not laughing that down. <laughs> <laughs> Such a good phrase, full of pus. <laughs> I think uh, Stu uses the word pus to mean face. He does, yeah, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, a yeah. Faith thing, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because actually Ross Leslie put up a picture. Of, I think it was like Eleanor Morton or something. He went, he has, he has Eleanor's big pus, and then people are like. Ross, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's not hurtful. reading how yeah. you're thinking. That's, hurtful. That's, that's a slanderous accusation, actually. Um, that's so good, man. I love yeah, BJ stuff. Cummings, the big ladies, man. Nominated yeah. determinism, that's called, where the name affects who you become as a person. Aye. Is it? So Aye. is that why my audiences are all old people? Because my name's Raymond. <laughs> like, is that <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Well, it's like, why, it's why it's good that Paul McStay was called Paul McStay and not Paul McFuck off to England. <laughs> I mean that's a niche joke it's quite good it's, yeah, good. it's quite good, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no but that's it's like it's like Usain Bolt yeah. he's fast ah, you know, it's like okay. stuff like that it's like mad if Dennis Law was a lawyer yeah or if like <laughs> yeah or it's good because like Donald Duck was a duck yeah 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 I don't think I'm just the disguise or like Lawrence Fox no don't get it. No, nah. he would be. He's if a he fox. Was, if fox hunting, maybe Tory. Yeah, 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 kind of okay. works. Okay. Gear, okay. mm. okay. I'll give you. Part there. <laughs> Such <laughs> a petty bit. I'll give you that. Yeah. Well anyway, done, mate. We've out the anyway, so you've. you've, you've <laughs> aye, we, we need to start this endeavour. Right? You've been. You've done more and more of uh, hosting off the ball in recent yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. I just like chatting football, man. Aye. So who you fill in for if somebody's off? Tam yeah, Cowan usually, yeah, Tam or Stuart, whoever's off. Yes, I've done lots of them. Um, Had any good stories, football related ones? In the trying to think, ones that I can probably say. Now, nah, there's <laughs> one I can tell you's off that involved legal action, but I don't think I'm allowed to tell you that. <laughs> okay. Uh, how? Not through off the ball, but something else. How much do you need to know about football? See, I know a lot. Like I I'm know. a massive dude, but I've but got. If I came on, would I look like a cunt? No, well, man. See, I've I brought think people I, on before. I, I've done it a couple of times, and I obviously I'm, I for Celtic and all that. But like I, the, I need to see when I'm on these. I always feel like I need to pretend I know more about. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. I've literally got fucking the hearts and hips strikers mixed up <laughs> earlier on. Like I feel like I need to pretend yeah. like I know more about so the I've, I've teams. Got, and I, got, <laughs> I know about like early two thousands Rangers players, and that's about <laughs> okay. it. Yeah, uh, I could talk about Russell Latap or something. Yeah, we can talk about him smoking in the toilets, which was a thing quite a lot. Or we could talk yeah. about uh, EBTs and how they got paid. That'd be a good yeah, laugh. I'm sure. Sums it. Right. When, before that, I got Ross. Steve was on. actually just been paid a dodgy contract to support them at the time. <laughs> 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 I 
some money. <laughs> I got a... Uh, because that's quite, quite fun thing. Like some of the producers sometimes say, who do you want to get on? So we get other comics on. So uh, Liam's done it, Liam Withnell. Roscoe was on one of the days uh, after a Scotland game. And he just started talking about how funny it was when Rangers went down to the bottom division. And As Stuart, a fan, yeah, Stuart who I was supporting with, uh, presenting with, he was like, Oh, so you're not a Rangers fan? He's like, No, I'm. <laughs> yeah, it's just it was quite funny. Well, last time yeah, I was on, Tam said to me, I thought you were a Rangers fan. I think oh. that's why I get booked. <laughs> <laughs> you sad about it? Is well, it's great. To the no, Motherwell. Tam's Motherwell, that's Stuart right. St. Johnson, Sam Fizzle. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so fun, like, because I grew up listening to that program. I'm a huge football fan. Like, I'm a football geek. I've played football with both of you. Um, actually, quite good. <laughs> I think it means Steve are a similar level. I've okay. seen him score an overhead kick. I bet it's no hard. He's fucking four feet. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. He's, he works hard. Jennings, you got better as we played because you'd obviously spent a lot of time not playing football. I just hadn't yeah. played. Yeah. You look like you'd be good. But yeah, a lot. All the gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. yeah. idea. No, I, I wouldn't say that bad. Uh, Score some more right goals now and again. I'm not saying I'm I'm never been a good player, but I'm I'm, I'm competent enough to be in a I just, five team. We used to play team. sevens on Monday. I used to just turn up and try and not make people. That's all I would do <laughs> in one box. People would be raging, but I was like, I'm playing for the fans, guys. That's like that's what I'm here for. <laughs> I used to enjoy doing that. Um, I miss that game. McPherson's got a good left foot. Yeah, he's got a good yeah. shot on him. Roscoe's got brittle knees. Try well, he the first game I played in that sevens game was him getting injured get and fucking his That's knee. Right, aye, fuck. Yeah, I've um, first game CMB wore a pair. He was of like, Doc it was Martins like the rejects for that Oh, guy. I didn't play the CMB. <laughs> no. The CMB playing goals, wearing his Doc Martens and goals. I, I had a shot at him, bent his hand back, and he never came back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why would you? See, if you don't like football, someone hurt you. you be like, fuck this. Do you know manage a team or a Sunday? Yeah, so team I still run a Saturday morning team. Uh, and then West Glasgow were called and then Sundays I play su- I f- problem is see we gigging and family and all that I've only played maybe two or three times did I ever tell the story in this about when I scored my amazing goals on a Sunday I'll tell you <laughs> that story you can edit it out if I did I played um, so Sunday afternoons this is maybe about <clears throat> two or three years ago you'll uh, save this when you're on Gary Neville's podcast <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with the overlap <laughs> yeah. just waiting on Michael Richards giving me the shout <laughs> no I did um, I did that advert for MS. it was me right, aye who was it? it? Was me, Robbie Savage, Robbie Savage, Jermaine Genius, uh, Stephen Craig, and, and James McFadden, and it was such a. It was pretending to be in my house, so they hired this studio in London, and um, all they did was put pictures of me up. <laughs> so it looks like it looks like I'm a really lonely person. I've, put, I've invited all these footballers to my house. We just ate curry and did football trivia. It was like, do you ever walk out of days and you're like, I can't believe I got paid for that? Yeah, like that right. was mad. It was so so surreal. Um, but yeah, so uh, what sort of trivia? What's your favourite fit? What's the oh, mate, I've got I've got a note on my phone of Trevor. Me, my, like I'll go out with my mates for like four hours, have maybe four or five pints, come home and Haley's like, "How's your mates?" And you're like, oh, "I don't know, but I know that Mac knows that Colin Nish scored ninety goals <laughs> for Kilmarnock <laughs> uh, over a four course season." Yeah. Like even last time we were out, me and my mates we just chatting football the whole time, and as we're leaving, my mate Mac was like, "Oh yeah, I bought a flat," and then did that, like we'd not talked anything about our lives at all, <laughs> just trivia because we're absolute fucking losers. <laughs> um, but no, I was about three years ago. We played Farhill Complex. And I would play in the two to four game, and afterwards there's um, a a group. I think I don't know if they were in. It was mainly like people, asylum seekers, people coming from Africa. So they would play the game after us, and I knew a couple of the guys. One of them had played for Thistle before John Evany. E. Mm-hmm. In with about ten minutes to go in the first game, I scored from about maybe 40, 45 yards, like eleven. I was like wind assisted, saw the keeper off his line, just put it in. Mm-hmm. To be fair, CMB was in goals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, Martin's like, <laughs> couldn't go off the ground with his doctor. <laughs> and then um, all the guys at the side like, whoa! And then the next week, about five minutes ago, someone took a short corner to the edge of the box. I took it and I banged it in the top corner. And it was like two of the best goals I've ever scored, right? And all the guys at his touchline were like, oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Like clapping me off. The next week, I went back to my usual standard, played absolute dog shit. And as I came off, one of the guys just went, oh, you're just a lucky man. <laughs> and I was like, that is the most soul-destroying bit. And I was like, yes, I am. Yes, I am, man. Uh, but no, I've, I love football, man. Like, yeah. Have you ever going... done a show about football? No, because I don't know if that would like alienate a lot of people because some people just don't want to hear about it. But people must come and see you, Faye, like when you've done the football podcast. And yeah, yeah, yeah when I did talk about them, we got a lot of people off that. We used to do live shows. They were good fun. Uh, someone once put their hand up with Jason Scotland, the Trinidad and Tobago striker. And someone put their hand up in the audience and then we were like, you got a question? He's like, no, his Rolex is blinding me. Can you ask him to take it off? So he took his watch well, he was in the audience? He, no, he was on the stage that we were interviewing him. Oh, right. Yeah, right. so now, what is weird for me, like when I do, like when I do the pavilion and stuff, like footballers will come see me who I used to pay money 
go watch. I think that all weird. Oh, that's cool. Like some of my favourite players. I once done a corporate gig in the Glasgow Central Hotel. Yeah. Um, and it was completely unplayable, right? I went up after there was a football awards trophy getting handed out, and people were like, oh, yes, lifting the trophy. And now Mark Jennings. Yeah. So I was like, no, that way, I was just in the middle of a room with a mic, but nobody even knew I was there, except from the table closest to me, who was sitting there, none other than former Celtic midfielder Massimo Donati, who was just watching me die mass. And I'm like, <laughs> I remember you scoring last minute against Shakhtar Donetsk yeah, in the Champions yeah, yeah. League, and now your life is watching me <laughs> die mass. I, I played in a, I played in a uh, Chris Doolan's testimonial against Celtic, and I was marking Massimo Donati. Aye. And I went, You smell lovely. And he went, Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, thank you. I got skinned by Tom Boyd in that game and everything. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, there's lots of those kind of like football stuff. People do come from Shock FM or like I said, if I do talk sport or off the ball, people do definitely come from that, which is nice. I don't know if I'd ever do a show all about football. Mm-hmm. Um, you done, you've done like after dinner sort of... Yeah, corporates, corporate all those kids. Oh, this is what I was going to say. Grand Central Hotel, I did one years ago. It was like a... I can't even remember the charity. And the only person I spoke to afterwards was, do you remember Olivier Bernard? Mm-hmm. so he played for Newcastle he was on loan at Rangers oh, aye, for a bit uh-huh. left back aye. and he came into bar and he was talking to me because he was like he was manager Gateshead at some of the time I was about to do Newcastle stance. we just started football and I was I started talking to him and do you know what wait, have you ever talked to someone who clearly has no idea what you're talking about but they just humour you because I was saying he should try revamp a kids show called uh, Olivier Bernard's Watch and how he could go about <laughs> stopping time and all this kind of stuff and he could not have given a fuck in his life but he was so polite to me like so polite he was like oh yeah that's okay I'm, I'm going to go back to my friends now and I was like yeah cool nice to meet you just think about it mate because the Queen's nose like evidently he'd spoke to Donati <laughs> yeah, don't way. talk to me did you know uh, you done something bang out to um Marcus de Beasley to Marcus Beasley <laughs> Marcus de Be- Marcus you know, de so many pe- I've heard him called that so many times <laughs> no it was uh, I mean, when me and my mates were in tunnel years ago and sometimes you would see footballers yeah, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, it was Kurt Broadfoot de, uh, <laughs> de Beasley. Beasley. Marcus Beasley and uh, somebody I think it was it's Kyle, you've got to say Kyle Marcus Lafferty. da Beasley because Marcus Beasley sounds like he was in Harry Potter <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> big Demarcus right and I'd done that thing It was there was a video of like Derek Johnson or something getting asked on him them it was like mulligation and basically it's like just going up and going can I get a picture mate and then just giving him the camera and he took, <laughs> so Demarcus Beasley took a picture of me and my three mates in tunnel I've still got it so it was on my b-board or something at the time uh, know, I'm, still every year in time it's a pure dick move of Facebook memories please don't do that to me <laughs> <laughs> although if you did fair enough yeah, also yeah. If, you, if he's in tunnel <laughs> questions are going to be asked just, <laughs> just don't go to clubs <laughs> no I've been at clubs for years man do you remember no. you think one day were you, you were in a club at the weekend though? Nah, but holiday's different. Is it? it? Is. Just, were you taps off or? No. Oh. What were you? What were you? What were you drinking in the club? Um, a vodka, soda water, and wine. Nice. Seen a video of you and you fell on your ass. Oh yeah, get that out. I was uh, no, but it was a bit. It started off as a bit where mm-hmm. I. Oh, I did t- see this. Is that I'm, from? I'm right. fall. I, yeah, yeah. I, I slip about. I used to do it in the Chinese across from the Etric all the time. They'd be raging. They'd be like, "Get out, get out." So I, I was doing it just to make my. That's so good. <laughs> Imagine you walking by the Chinese. So I was like, "Oh fuck, it's a slippy guy." Oh no, even well, worse. He's with some... toasted buns. <laughs> <laughs> just because a slippy flare, you would do. Aye, so if it was, if it was a slippy, th- I was good at keeping my balance. Such so a bad bit. I, it's so bad but it got the people going <laughs> oh I'm, like my dad would kill himself laughing at my like it's I don't slap play for the fans yeah, man. got physical the, humour five minutes of the new show this year <laughs> <laughs> Walk out, Buchanan's just pouring water on the stage. <laughs> we'll be with you in a minute. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> I would find that more watchable than a lot of stand up. Like, I think that is great. I might do it. Actually, it's a yeah. good idea. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I started doing that and then uh, I actually genuinely just fucking cunted it and my knee was so sore. Mm. Dropped my drink. Cost me a five euro. That's brutal, man. <laughs> Raging. I had a mate when we were in Cushion. Any time, do you remember Black Eyed Peas? I got a feeling ah, whenever course. they said uh, Mazel Tov, he would smash his drink like, every time. <laughs> Sick. And we do it, and we get to the point where we walk in, he would just get papped out by the bouncer every time. We go in, and he'd be like, "Don't play that." Are trip. you are you gonna smash your drink? He's like, "No, no, 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 no." <laughs> and then Black Eyed Peas would come on, and people are looking about, <laughs> <That's laughs> and funny. the bouncers would just be around them waiting. He'd be like, <laughs> every time. I don't know why he did it, but it made me laugh. Yeah. No, is that I, when that happens is it not like you stomp in yeah, your glass or something yeah that's what they say mm, after yeah. in the lyrics in it I don't know I, mean, no. what? I don't know no. what is that 
don't know. Just to make... I think it's so more people can like pretend they're slipping. Like, it's pretty... <laughs> they're just team players, man. Get ice. And then wonderful. when they do slip, they land on glass. <laughs> like, you're, like, ah, you're a big idiot, man. It's that way. You've been... Uh, you, do, you Occasionally now are on Sky Sports as like the local mm. Scottish wind-up whenever there's a... <laughs> yeah. Mate, see the amount of abuse I get from English fans, man. There's, <laughs> when we played England in a friendly, I went... OTT like I was talking about how England were just such a poor nation they beat us 3-1 and I was just <laughs> bam I remember I was on um, I was at the game and then I looked at my phone and the video of me just slagging off the English people was getting more and more bookmarks as the game went on <laughs> like people uh, saving it to come back to me and then I just switched my phone off because people were going at it yeah so I'm going out to Germany are you going to Germany? yeah, yeah. we're going what have you booked up? Like we, need, we need to get accommodation sorted still, but we'll figure Crazy. it out. What are, you, uh, what are you doing for that? Um, oh, this would be good, actually. I'm going to look straight down the camera in a sec. Um, I, <laughs> if anyone can... So the first four days I'm away, uh, I've got a one-way flight so far, and the first four days I'm missing my son's national graduation, <laughs> my wedding anniversary, my wife's birthday. So if anyone can get me Taylor Swift tickets, please, <laughs> to save my marriage. <laughs> That's a direct plea to action. Um, so, well, actually... Going to Munich eh, for the first couple of games, eh, for the first couple of days, like three days in Munich. You got tickets? Eh, potentially, it looks like yes. But the then. Good connections. Yeah, and then. I still have to pay, which is shite. Um, but then, in between the two games, we're going to a stag do. So my mate. Right. In my, Germany? Yeah, my mate, we're going to just a random city. Um, potentially or a different country because he doesn't know and I know he listens to this. Um, <laughs> I, when I did Soccer FM, my football podcast, it turns out the stag that I was going on was a surprise and I talked all about it the week before my oh, mate found out yeah. and his brother-in-law his wee brother was raging um, but yeah so uh, and then we're going to stag there for a couple of days and go back to the game and then I might stay out for the third game are you out for all three games or just one or two I'll or what the, the yeah. Full group yeah stages, so eh? I don't know have you got tickets yet nah we went for the ballot and never got any we'll see, we'll nah. see what we can do yeah message tenants or something see if we can yeah, figure some stuff out don't, if anyone would like to yeah uh, it's, it'll be hard for their because all the official sponsors won't have it. Do you get the suitcases? Yeah, I didn't get one. I was guided. I actually took it to uh, Newcastle at the weekend because uh, <laughs> to I, Newcastle. I, <laughs> were you trying to like get the stickers off? I did, did you... take the stickers off. Because <laughs> what are all the stickers on? It's it? just uh, the the places that they uh, would be in qualifying. So where are those places? Georgia, from? Spain, uh, Norway. Aye, there's one more. What? Yeah, <laughs> I can't fucking remember. <laughs> just don't wind up. Oh. But anyway, um, <laughs> it's because my other suitcase had the, the wee thing that you carry it with was broke, so yeah, yeah, it was good. You, so if you go for a weekend, are you taking a suitcase? Uh, aye, for Just take Newcastle? like a wee night bag thing. Aye, yeah, uh, well, you know, whatever. How was your weekend? Was it nice? It was good actually. I Saturday was. Did you go to that pub, Lady Grey's? There was well, there was actually there was free. The, the only thing about it, there was free Scottish acts on. Me and Gareth Watt, and then John Scott, who's based in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I was, and I was on last. Gareth Austin. So, no, Gareth. No, we were all doing sports. Mm -hmm. So I was. So by the third time, I had to come up and I'm like that. I know I can't believe I'm Scottish as well. But what I did say was the stand were nice enough to to all book us because we all get sacked for the Willy Wonka experience. Ah, oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, but I needed something because I'm like, yeah. I, imagine going to like Glasgow and the whole act's Geordies. <laughs> you think it's a night like a theme I, night? I, no, it was, yeah. like, it was best of Scottish just in you guys. Did you just ever do like King Gong? <laughs> In Manchester, the gong show. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you just go down together? Yes. Well, that's the Because people used to... I, I, uh, I remember the first time I did it. So I, I lived in Liverpool. So I went, it was the first time I met Chris Forbes. And Forbes had won it and I beat it, but I didn't uh, place. And then... But I noticed whenever there was like a car full of Scottish people coming down, like by the third or fourth one, they would just die in their arse. Like they would me. get gong... Was it... Is I that was, what happened to I, you? I was the fourth one on and then after about 10 seconds, fucking gonged off. You you beat it. That was a long drive back home. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was just the two years. <laughs> Aye. No, but then but that night also... Gregor Burns was on or something, oh, and yeah, he yeah. won. And then it was, and then was some other. Miko was on. A few, uh, aye, a few other cars came down. Yeah, but uh, that's happened quite a few times. Aye, and then by the time it was getting to the point where I think it was Miko or something up, and he just started speaking, and they're like, ah, <laughs> for the cars are just because they're like yeah. sick of Scottish guns. So funny, it's just one accent, and they just wipe it out. Like, yeah. what's the yeah. point in that, man? Yeah, I know. But no, that, is, that is a pain in the ass with the taper. Are you, ones. are you missing doing like? Traveling for gigs and all that kind of stuff because you've no. got the lovely balance now. No, balance of what? Like doing sketches, doing everything. Like yeah, no, I don't miss the fucking travel lodges and that. Do you like that? No, oh, I mean it's the worst. It's shite, I hate what? it. Do you, you don't really mind it, do you? 
Uh, it's, you know, it gets old. I think it would be nice to do what you're doing, Ray, and be doing it as part of a tour. Yeah. I think the, the yeah. circuit and all that. The I feel like you've done, that. when you do it enough, uh, enough times, you're a bit like, this kind of feels yeah, like, yeah, um, yeah. it's, you know. Groundhog it's this. when you know, when you go to certain cities and you know where the good pubs are, where the good food places are, you know, oh, I can get brunch here. You're like, oh yeah. God, what's happened to me, <laughs> man? And you try to recreate a good time you had three times ago. Yeah. <laughs> you were there or something, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, At least if you've got, um, you don't even have a support act that you can just hang about with either. Yeah. No, so I'll chat to the interpreter for like an hour before the show. Uh, uh, one of my interpreters, uh, two of them look like me. So I was in Bristol and he walked out and the audience started clapping and cheering. <laughs> and over the mic, I was like, that's not me. <laughs> You've just proved the whole point in the show. So that's thank funny. you. You've got and, to use them, I, for the... And the, then the... Um, uh, one of the um, interpreters I had uh, turned up in Swindon and he was the bass player for a Slade tribute act. So like he just turned up long like ponytail. One, I was like, mate, let's just dingy the show and go for a pint, man, because you sound <laughs> fascinating. This is well better. That's so amazing. yeah, so yeah. So I there's a lot of times where I just end up like I'll phone my mates and they'll be like, You never phone me. And I'll be like, Yeah, I've got no one to talk to. <laughs> like when I'm on tour. So like, Do you wanna one. tell the me about your feelings? Yeah, the long drives you could do with me. Oh man, party. I did eight hours to Aylesbury one day. Hmm. That was brutal. The show was fun. Back up the road after or Nah, so I'll do a couple so what the other day I left the hotel at four to fly home at half six and then come home. And then my wee boy was like, Can I jump in your stomach? And he did, and I was like, I feel like I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, why has this happened so quickly, man, after me getting home? Well, if you uh-huh. want to see Ray um, on any of his uh, tour dates where he's as miserable as he's just yeah. described. <laughs> yeah, you can hear all about my views on genocide. Yeah. <laughs> like all that stuff. So, wait, so you've got, you're just coming up, when are you playing the glass? So you're at the pavilion again? Yes, yeah, so I'm in Edinburgh, I'm in Queen's Hall in Edinburgh on the Thursday, the 18th of. Uh, April. April 19th of April I'm at the Pavilion 20th of, in Glasgow 20th of April I'm in Greenock at the Albany which was the most piss gig by a mile last year people getting oh, up right. to go for a piss at like 10 minutes in oh. one guy took an ecky before the show I was like mate it's not <laughs> it's not that kind it's of fucking show. subtle humour and sign language why are you <laughs> pilling it <man?" laughs> um, and then I head up to the Lemon Tree in Aberdeen on the 21st, the Sunday, and then Eden Court on the 22nd, the Tuesday, and then like Les Square Theatre are all around the UK. If you can think of a place that you would want to go, I'm probably going there. <laughs> like, that's <pretty> much <laughs> slogan. <laughs> Definitely. Like, and if you live in one of these places, well, it might be one of the bright sparks in your bleak existence. <laughs> <laughs> That's my opening line every day. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just here to make your lives better. And they're like, who the fuck are you? Like, I would like to see John Hart's in the musical. Like, no, it's fun, man. Yeah, but no, it's fun, man. And then, what are you? Are you, are you going to tour again in a while or what are you going to do? No, I need, well, I'm do, doing the French and then we'll take it for there. But, aye. Yeah. Well, are, you, are you doing the French again? Not currently, but I don't know. I might do. Do you know what's weird for me, right? Because you probably view me as an older man. Because you I look started about 10 years you. older. <laughs> yeah, look about 10 years older. My knees crack when I stand up. Like all the uh-huh. other stuff. I don't I don't pretend I'm slipping on a floor. <laughs> like, I've got no show names about shagging, like none of them. But uh, it's funny for me now because like I started doing stand up before you. And there's only maybe two or three years between us. But then now at the fringe, or it's mainly the fringe, not so much Glad's Comedy Festival, my mates are like oh, I might come see your show, but we're going to go see Steve Buchanan or we're going to go see Mark Jennings or we're going to see... And I'm like, no. Like, that's, that's not part of the deal of being my friend. Come see me. Yeah. Don't go see these people. Like, everyone was like, they went to your shows and loved it. Um, Some went to McPherson's and CMB's and Roscoe's and it's really funny for me because like... Because you're like basically a guy who's like, three years older than us in school and yeah. caught in a yeah, comedy yeah, yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly yeah. it. A couple and, of years ahead. Yeah, I'm like, why are they hanging out with the young kids, the fucking nonsense, man, like, when they go? So, when I see that, but it's class to see you both smash it and do all your different things. Yeah. Thanks for nearly saying that like you meant it. <laughs> <laughs> That's just as serious as I'll get, man. It's nice, man. Like, I've never, I've never understood that thing of people who get better for other people. No, I've absolutely. never understood that, man, because we, we all do different things. So, yeah. it is nice when you see people do well. And Scottish comedy, like, I was saying this on the radio yesterday, Scottish comedy seems to be better than ever yeah like in terms of what people are doing like you look at Susie selling out the kings all the times nelson's doing a big tour um so many people doing such cool things janie's got a film about her like yeah. all this stuff so and i yeah. think you guys do really well with getting people in here like 
spreading Raymond Mearns' message to the world. That clip, I don't know who edited Did you edit uh, that clip? Yeah, that right. is one of the best clips. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember where I was. I was abroad somewhere <laughs> and I watched that about 40 times, man. It's just like, yes, man. Yes. That's so good, isn't it? Well, uh, you know, he's brilliant and it's, it's been nice. And, but I think, like, to your point, it's like, I think we, particularly nowadays with social media and podcasts and that type of stuff, it sort of spreads the wealth and it means that we can all find our own audiences as opposed to before I think there's more a competitive thing because it's like oh well, there's only one TV spot up for grabs yeah, everybody's yeah, going yeah, for it so yeah, if that yeah. one person goes we're all fucked whereas now yeah, yeah. we can all find our own niches and I think you're a great example of, of doing that as well and yeah. all the different things you do and then we, you know you just you just find your thing and you find your audience and do that's you know it. when you're talking about me being three years old at school I've never felt older in comedy probably than do you remember I was saying to you I'd just set up a TikTok account and <laughs> I put up this video and it was the video you filmed for, of ah, me yeah. at the Jags for good and I was like it's not really working he was like well if you put it it was a longer video if you do that and the next thing it was like 150,000 views and I was like I'm getting advice from just a small man <laughs> and oh my yeah. life is becoming difficult man. Yeah, I've never felt more me. of a boomer I was like well if you need mortgage advice <laughs> I've got good mortgage advice we can help you with that yeah. like, oh god that's what I am now. hopefully I'll never need that advice <laughs> but congratulations on your success <laughs> Which I nearly said, like, I mean, oh <laughs> uh, man, no, listen, I think yeah. that's about time to Thank wrap up. Thanks a lot for, here, for, for, uh, for joining us. I'm Ray. glad you accepted my request, supposedly. <laughs> no, so, hey, you can thank uh, your PR for that one. Yeah. Yeah, it's good to get you back on. I can't and, believe uh, I've paid to do this, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, thanks a lot, Ray. And um, as ever, guys, uh, and obviously, do check out Ray on tour as, as we mentioned. We'll put the link in the description and all that. Mm -hmm. um, as ever, you can uh, follow us at Song Life Pod on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Do remember to give us a five star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, and uh, like and subscribe on YouTube as well. Do um, the bit about asking to get me Taylor Swift tickets as well. If anyone's <laughs> got Taylor Swift tickets, I could maybe help you with that. Oh, uh, no, I probably yeah. not. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't know. What well, all you need is two visits to 21 Pump Street. <laughs> <laughs> 42 Pump Street. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah and obviously as ever just if you get an email emails for us any questions you can email us at summerpod at gmail.com literally no one ever does that but uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you can do it anyway if you yeah. like to um, aside for that thanks a lot for tuning in cheers. and we'll speak to you very soon cheers right cheers, cheers guys cheers